guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to make this eyebrow tutorial for you because you keep asking. And I understand that it's not everybody's choice of eyebrow. I understand that. I don't have much to work with. And I, um, I actually made an eyebrow video. My very first video for YouTube was an eyebrow tutorial. And, like, they were horrendous. Like, when I say horrendous, they were... I'm embarrassed. I'm glad I deleted the video because it was terrible. Like, the, they looked like McDonald's arches. And, I mean, I'm, I can, like, make fun of myself. It doesn't bother me. Like, I've been doing makeup for a year now. And within a year, a whole lot changes. And if you're a makeup artist or even into makeup, you'll understand what I'm saying. Like, I've had a complete brow transformation in the past year. So... I want to give you like an updated brow tutorial. It's been nice it's been like the year it seems like. It's been like two degrees for the last six months and I have the windows open so you might hear some background noises. I played back my videos you can kind of hear some stuff but it's not a big deal and it's not worth redoing the whole video because this is a lot of work and I am biting the bullet this week buying a new camera. I'm not a new camera but I'm going to buy a camera. Instead of using this iPad I'm going to use, get a good camera and have better quality videos. I'm going to do it this week. And hopefully I can post more. Because this is a lot of work. That's why I don't post too often. Because you guys, making a video on YouTube with an iPad is a lot of work. Just so you know. Um, I know my eyebrows aren't for everyone either. So if anybody has rude negative comments, go ahead and leave them. Because I go off. We all know that. <laughs> I was just kidding. No, but don't leave any rude comments. Here are okay. my natural brows. <laughs> This is a struggle. I get real mad when people start talking about how they don't have eyebrows when they wash off what they filled in. Like, I literally have no eyebrows. I did overpluck them when I was in, like, sixth grade. But that was what was in. I didn't know it would destroy my eyebrows future. I didn't know that. So, we have to work with what we have to create a brow. This is not going to be the tutorial for everyone because... Not everyone has this severe of an eyebrow struggle. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to start with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in Dark Brown. I'm just going to make kind of a shape so I have some type of line to guide. I'm going to kind of start right underneath my natural eyebrow. Make it somewhat straight. Just like that. Way back in the day, not, I mean, it wasn't even way back, it was probably like, um, when I first started, like, being serious about makeup on Instagram, I had the most ridiculously arched brows, like, and it wasn't even okay. I'm surprised nobody walked up and licked their thumb and wiped them off, because they were like McDonald's arches. And, yeah, I'm just so glad that I noticed and just evolved, because that was not a good look. Okay, so, make a straight line and kind of create a tail. I'm going to go to the highest point of my brow and connect it. I'm going to go right above my brow. Kind of like I kind of stay with the shape. I wonder still, what it would be like if I had real eyebrows, like what they would look like. So once I do that, I'm going to fill in the end. I was like, I hope, I hope you could see me. <clears throat> okay, you're not filling your entire brow in. You're only filling in the tail portion of your eyebrow. Okay. Next okay, thing. so the brush I use is not like a normal thing. Um, on Christmas, I found a pack of paint brushes at Five and Below, and they're all synthetic brushes. And I found this flat top synthetic brush. And I've used angled brushes in the past for my eyebrows, and for some reason, maybe it's because I'm attaching my like my products to more skin than hair. I don't know, it just works way better. So I found that pack of paint brushes at Five and Below and for my daughter for Christmas, and I um, stole a couple of them. It turned out to be like my favorite eyebrow brush of all time, and I know a lot of people 
I've asked me what I use, and I want to say like this brush that you can go out and buy, but this is like me personally, this is what works for me. Okay, so then I take that with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde, and I have, I have switched, switched up my color recently just because I like a softer brow recently. I say recently twice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start right from the middle. Start filling and work my way out. This is like the first time it's been nice out in like a hundred years, so my window's open. You're probably gonna hear all this extra shit, but I don't care. The lighting's better this way. Okay. When people ask me all the time how you get the fade effect, you just have to be soft. Like your touch has to get softer as you go. I kind of am blending one color into the other. And I'm not filling in this area because we're going to make some like little hair like strokes to make it look a little bit more like a real eyebrow. I'm using the Dip Real Pomade again. I love her products for eyebrows. Same brush, but I'm using, instead of using blonde, I'm gonna use soft brown. Because when I try to do like, I tried to do this in blonde and nothing showed up, so I did it with the soft brown. We get right towards, I don't know how well you can see. I'm gonna just do it just exactly how my eyebrow hairs go. I'm gonna make little strokes. That one's way too dark, of course. Can I do them up? I suck at this because I keep blocking everything with the freaking mirror. And this is just going to make it look more natural and less drawn. Here's where I forgot to tell you that I was cleaning my edges up with a flat concealer brush and a little bit of concealer where it got messy, just to give it a full clean look. That's the finished eyebrow. I do wanted to I do I do wanted to say I wanted to tell you guys that if you have ever liked, subscribed, commented, anything, I love you. You don't even understand. Like I, you turned my hobby into something that's like way bigger than that. You made me come out of my shell and like try new things. I can't thank or say how much I love you enough. And it's so serious. Like I know I can be crazy or like, you know, if you know me from Instagram, I get angry and shit. Like I'm always joking around. Like I am dead Trust serious about everything to me. I love you more than words. You make me like explode into a freaking cloud of happiness and unicorns and butterflies and rainbows and shit like I love you thank you for supporting me in everything I do like I can't even I just want to come hug every fucking one of you I'm sorry I didn't want to curse but alright bye